hello my pretties how are you guys um this message is going to be for people i decided to do a, a reader for people who are already um engaged in some sort of relationship okay because i know a lot of pretty gang um from what i understand are not even dealing with people a lot of you guys are celibate abstinent whatever you want to call it right and um i do not start burping until the camera comes on and i just don't understand what that's about um yeah some of you guys are already engaged in being with somebody some of y'all could be engaged but i mean like engaged in a relationship this is romantically that I'm speaking of. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and do something for my viewers who are in a relationship, right? So this will be a, probably like a smaller collective of you guys within my collective. Um, one of you, somebody that I'm picking up, it doesn't have to be one of you, but someone specific that I'm picking up is like... um like some sort of uh has some sort of healing energy um somebody's nickname may really actually be angel um or even your real name or something like that i don't know but it's somebody here that's of like egyptian descent something that have to do like with the pyramids and stuff like that it doesn't actually have to be in your family bloodline but more so in your spiritual bloodline I'm getting that you have something that could be on the horizon or could be for you with this cornucopia and yin and yang. This feels like a prosperous um, kingdom spouse type of relationship. You could say twin flame with the yin and yang, but y'all know how I feel about twin flame stuff. Um, I don't know too much. I don't get too much into that. You know, I know stuff about it, but I don't get too much into that because a lot of people think that, you know, their twin flame is some horrible ass individual. And it, and it, and it, and it you know, I don't, I don't know. Shit, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Anyway. Somebody might have a child's father, right? Could be older than you. It don't have to be. That you could still be dealing with. Y'all don't have to have kids by this person, but I'm just saying this could be some sort of... This kid, This is my baby daddy card in this deck or whatever, right? And like... If he be in the woods or if he is outside a lot he's doing something like kind of creepy show me this he's doing something like kind of creepy or whatever and, and because he's hooded i would say like it's some sort of magic he could have he could have put like sent some, put something outside oh god watch your brush around somebody your hair brush around around this person is what it feel like watch your hair brush and like um if they giving you if they uh you know randomly come to you and be like baby try this and it's like i don't know this feel like a love spell this feel like some love potion number nine shit <laughs> show me what is this person doing and i'm picking up one this person might um be into like uh baphomet or something like that i don't know but anyway, it seems like, look, love and disruption. I don't, uh, this seems to me, show me, like, um, this person could be trying to get you to trust, trust them. Uh, maybe you, maybe you've found out something. They could even be go by the graveyard or something like that. I don't know. This person could be feeding some sort of spirit behind your back because they know that you're, uh, feeling, in a way where you want to reject them for some reason like you could have found out something or something like that they know you getting turned off so they like trying to do something in between two trees or in between two pillars or there's something here about they're going in between something or they have to cross a threshold in order to do whatever this this is oh they could be doing like a crossroads a uh, something Something that they doing and they doing it outside. I don't 
don't know, because I'm starting to feel like you too nice or something like that. But that's because of what this person is doing. Like, they trying to get you to um, hit a brick wall as far as your intuition is concerned and take them back. This is like love domination. This is like love domination spell that they could be using or something. I was going to say that um, that's what... I was going to say that that could be for those of you who it resonates that your partner will be doing spell work on you. But then I think about my own life and it's like, mm, I I had no clue what was going on. You know, and it didn't just happen once when it was going on. And I would never stamp a person, some of the people that did it to me you know, a romantic relationship as somebody who would be doing some shit like this. But they were. So, you wouldn't even know, to be honest. You wouldn't even know. Show me. Look, isolation. And see, that's what this is. It, it's like, it's like this person goes... It, it, it could lie. It could be lying about where they at or some shit like that. I don't know. You could. You and this person could share location. This give me like. This give me like. Uh, um. Something with location. Hold on a second. This give me like something with a uh, sharing location or something like that. Even this. You ever see like they locate? You ever pick up their location at like a park or something like that? I don't know. You know, it's like, where you at? What? what? Lying, too. Something about a dead bird. I just heard, I just heard loud and clear, dead bird. Something about a dead bird. Please comment if that, um, if that resonates with you. Something about a dead bird. Concerning this situation, I guess. Yeah. So, we have the devil in the eight of swords. It's like this person is using something to tie you up. Y'all, I'm getting the energy of, I don't think this is a jaw. I don't think this is a jaw. Like what this is, is like binding. It feel like binding. That's what it feel like. Here go this threshold energy. Like, do y'all have something around y'all way that look like this? Oh, y'all can't even really see. Whatever. Um, somewhere maybe where they do factory work or the a yard. Um, like we got something called the Brooklyn Navy Yard. And it got a lot of, it's like water over there. It's like industrial shit going on, warehouses, whatever, over there. It's something here where this person is going. Near to a tree, literally, near to a tree in the woods or some shit. Um, and it don't have to be deep in the woods. It's a wooded area. They could even have burned something. This person could have a scar on their belly button, near to their belly button or on their chest or something like that. But some of y'all, this person can have blue eyes or their eyes change color. It's a poppy of you. You might want to get my dismantle voodoo dolls and effigies candle. Look at my spiritual warfare um, on the prettyoracle.com. Look at my spiritual warfare um, section. I have two spiritual warfare candle sections, Okay. Look in both. Find a dismantle candle in this contract revocation. Because it's like this person trying to tie you to them. And I don't like it. This person can have a knife collection or like knobs or some shit like that. Or always have or always be with a toothpick in their mouth or something. <laughs> Y'all, I used to be so obsessed with knives. And I used to have a boyfriend who used to like buy me knives. <laughs> Bomb me knives, and I just be like, Oh my god, it's so romantical! <sighs> like, you, you, from what I'm picking up from this, from, from uh, who this reading for, like, you're so obsessed with the um idea of family. Oh, because we got a family together, and oh, just thinking, like, I'm sorry, I love you, you know what I'm saying, you delusional. 
because in in <laughs> uh, uh, what about your sister said it's called manifesting <laughs> yo all right whatever um that's hilarious okay so you might think it's called manifesting you know, um, for this person to be better. This is not the person that you think they are. And you know it. You turned off to this person. You're turned off to this person. This person is actually a burden. The Ten of Cups is coming out with the Ten of Wands. And this came out like this uh, before in a different deck. The Ten of Cups with the Ten of Wands together. The idea of family is weighing on you. You need to go back that way. Look, forward, the way that when the cards are going forward, it's nothing but burdens. And, it's, and, you're, and this is moving forward with a particular individual. Hold on. When a card's going this way, going this way, like moving away from, and then even here you got the arrows with the uncertainty and like indecision energy. You need to go that way. This way is where, you know, uh, excuse me, this way is where, you know, yin yang, cornucopia and injustice, like the angel of balance. Like you don't feel balanced right now. You don't feel okay with this person. You feel stuck though. That's what you feel. You feel stuck. And you and you and you must be like trying to convince yourself, like, oh, you know, um, we have a bond. And it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a toxic bond. That's what it is. Trauma bond, maybe. This ain't this ain't what you want, is it? I know a lot of people that that's like obsessed with like family units sometimes or having a family unit. And they don't even have to be obsessed. Like I think that's what everybody wants. Um you know, a family, to keep their family together. But it's like, it's no need to be in a toxic situation just to say you have structure. Some of y'all can even, because, I don't know. I don't mean no harm, y'all. Like, um, some of y'all can even be staying together with this person because you don't want people to say, aha, Y'all ain't together. Or that fell apart. And it's just like, why is it um, something negative if you're no longer attached to a toxic situation? I don't care what it looked like from the outside. I have a very long-standing relationship that I was in that failed. No matter, you know, how much I put into it. And I'm okay with that. And I don't give a fuck how it look to people, okay? Especially people who ain't never going to make it to, uh, to the status that my relationship made it to. <laughs> Hello? I'm not scared to make mistakes in front of people as long as I am not... Um, doing something that's detrimental to my own health because of the way it look for keeping up appearances. If it ain't for me, it ain't for me. Show me. Hell, I look like going home miserable <laughs> or being, being miserable in, in, my, in my own, you know what I'm saying, relationship just for me to be like, see, ride or die, we're always going to be together. Child, please. <laughs> please next thank you yeah somebody but this is not a source like this person could even use an animal in their work this person uh, did not say something about a dead bird y'all did not say something about a dead bird you see this look at this somebody could even use the animal in their work so this person could have like a snotty nose or um, how do you call it? Allergies or something going on? Cause sound nasally or whatever. Look, we have the that with the power coming out. I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they be like in the backyard killing animals and shit in the name of love. <laughs> what? Tell me. We have the high priestess and. The six of wands. See, I don't like this because it feel like it feel like whatever this is could be um, being uh, given to some sort of uh, goddess energy or something, some some deity that maybe deal with love or something like that. 
And it's to stop your forward movement with the judgment and the ten of wands. It's like you're going to be with me. I don't care how um, miserable you are. I like ruining your life and I don't want you with nobody else. Show me, please. Y'all, they saying that the knife was used to what you call it? A, 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 a animal. Look, they go to fucking bird. I'm telling you. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Without the cards. Thank you. <laughs> Show me. God, I'm telling you, God just put these cards in my hand so people will believe the shit that is, that's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. So the cards could cooperate and confirm. The shit that I just know. Devil out here again. Double devil. Oh my God. Double devil. Help. Hey, hey, help. I don't like it. Because somebody's children could be being affected by this situation as well. Somebody think they child sleep, but the child lay up at night. Y'all, let me tell you something. Another thing too, right? And I'm dead ass serious. When you keep company like this in your home or around your children, even if they, it, 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 it doesn't matter if they the father or the mother of the child. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Energy is, is transferable. You don't want nobody that mess with this kind of magic around your children. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual, your spiritual practice is your spiritual practice, but, but I can't really get with, or I, look, the B-L-O-O-D, when you start incorporating that in the shit that you do, I just feel like it opens different doors. That's all. And I wouldn't have shit that I that 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 I care about around not even myself around a person like that. I mean, I just wouldn't. Because there's certain doors that's open. So be careful. Tell me. Show me what the devil is. Show me what the devil is, please. What does this devil energy... Uh, this person may have like Arabic letters on them or something like that. Some sort of Jewish, uh, Hindu, some kind of letters. Yeah, this is a binding spell. This is literally a, 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 a binding spell. And it's animals out here because now it's a turtle. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could have even found like a dead cat or some shit like that on their property or something. Or near to them or whatever. That could be the reason why this person goes in that wooded area, probably looking for shit. This rabbit stinks. Smells like. Put in the comments where that's from. <laughs> where that, what, what movie that was from, what I just said. This rabbit stinks. Could have even used a rabbit. It's tied up, whatever this is. Get rid of this person and go cleanse. If you need my help, email me. Pretty Oracle at Gmail. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Somebody is trying to hold you back. Whoever this person is literally is trying to hold you back from your happiness. And they know that whatever this good energy is, is for you. This person it, it saw into the future somehow. Just like I'm a reader. It's easy as hell, okay, to go get a reading. Especially if you already in, in the woods effing with animals and B-L-O-O-D and shit. You gonna tell me this person ain't into divination? They're seeing what I'm seeing because they're actively trying to stop you from it. You ain't going nowhere. That's how this person feel. They're, they're, they're like pulling. Uh, they're able to, to manifest off of your energy. And they like it like that. Show me this, please. 
What's that? What is that? Somebody got a tree house or something like that. Or a chicken coop. Somebody could live in another country besides the United States. Now it's a spider out here. Oh, Lord. I've never noticed this. I've never noticed the fly. I've never noticed what this spider had caught up in their web. I've never noticed this. I don't think you the first person they did this to. This person got you caught up. This is this is a binding spell. This is a binding spell. They could even be dumping this at a graveyard or something like that. Somebody's burning a candle on top of a skull. This person could be missing teeth. Somebody here missing teeth? Your ancestors could have alerted you about this. You could have had a dream. You 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 could have had a dream. They called they said Venus flytrap. They said Venus flytrap. Ten of Swords, yeah. You know this person, you know what they did to you, or you know that they're doing something to you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be this, but some sort of betrayal energy. Some shit you ain't got no business doing to somebody. Somebody nickname could be spider or whatever. There's something here about eight leg, octopus, spider, octo. Somebody could be born in October. You could have a son with this person. You just don't. Like, I, I'm just seeing you sitting here taking care of your kid. And this motherfucker somewhere at the river in near the beach, by the graveyard, in a wooded area, uh, somewhere in the backyard, doing with I mean, just um just fucking around in your energy. Lord, Lord, Lord. Um, I'm gonna get some um I'm gonna go ahead and get some um Zodiac signs for this, right? And then I'm going to... And then I am going to talk about the good you could have if you get this person up on your energy. Don't speak. I know it's what you're thinking, so please stop explaining. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Somebody name could be Gwen. You and me, we're meant to be together. Every day together, always. Oh my God. I really feel like I'm losing my best friend, I can't believe this could be the end. La, 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 and if it's real, then I don't want to know. Wow. Every time you get ready, ready to tell this person you don't want to be with them no more, they go mosey out into the woods. Because don't speak. I know just what you're thinking, so please stop explaining. Don't tell me cause it hurts. They don't want to. They don't want to be without you. But without, without you. But uh, that's crazy. And I don't need your reason. Don't tell me cause it hurts. That's my girl, Gwen. It's all ending. We gotta stop pretending who we are. Show me um zodiac signs of this person, please. The chicken man. Do you know the chicken man? The rising man, the turtle man. All kind of animals, I feel like. Taurus, Libra, who else? Virgo.
Show me. Scorpio. Aquarius. Pisces. So these are the signs of the man or the woman that may be doing this. We have cancer at the bottom of the deck. Right? If you don't see your man or your woman sign here, but this resonates. And you feel like, oh, well, pretty did not say his sign. So hmm. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you. Because you deserve better. Dun, 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 <laughs> Stay up till four in the morning and the tears are pouring and I want to make it worth the fight. What have we been doing for all this time? Baby, if we're going to do it, come on, do it right. I give me the energy of sitting in a toxic ass relationship and begging somebody to get right. What have we been doing for all this time? Baby, if we're going to do it, come on, do it right. What the fuck I look like begging you? <laughs> to be a part of this relationship properly. Like, or for some reciprocity or understanding or to stop being toxic. For us to stop being toxic. I mean, what? Come on now. Show me. What's this? What's this? Yin Yang, Cornucopia, Angel. This person want to be attached to you as well because they're manifesting off of you. This person is like, it feel like, show me this about Alina so always pays this. Show me this. Oh my lord. This person is this person in debt to like this is Pisces energy and then the King of Swords could be is 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 any ear sign. But like this person in debt to some some sort of like priestess lady or something or man or whatever. Or spirit that they got attached to them. What is this? The high priestess. They could, this person could have burnt your hair or something. The seven of swords. Something, someone or something that gets them out of sticky situations. Whoever this person is, I just heard they could evade the law a lot. And you probably thinking like, how the fuck you ain't go to jail? Or how you, how you always, you know, be the gingerbread man when it comes to certain stuff? They got some sort of spirit or something attached to them or something like that. Something that they owe. Something that they have to pay to be there or pay to keep in place. To keep them together. And getting away with shit. Show me. Something that could be attached to their mind. Seven of coins and six of wands. Yeah. To get them out of trouble. To keep them in some sort of state of like victory. Death. It's a spirit. Scorpio energy is here with this death card. Child, six, look at this six of coins in the, in the ace of swords. Literally paying for victory. Literally paying for, for, for in order to stay in some sort of victorious. Like, like, listen, you could be thinking to yourself, like, this person got a lot of shit going on. They ain't victorious, but, but, and victorious in a way where it's like that this, whatever this spirit is here for is like, to help help them get away with things or for protection in some in, in, in some instances it's like you know um maybe like this person could always you know um this is could even be a, a, a energetic like vampiristic spirit that's on them or, or something this is the spirit just helps them get away with something it helps them 
attain some sort of goal. What is it? Because I feel like a succubus or something. An incubus or some shit like that. Somebody can say like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Or something like that. You know what I mean? You know? What is this spirit helping this person do? Whatever it is, they got to be fed or paid off it on some little shop of horror shit. It's not funny. It's really not funny. Okay? Show me. What is this spirit helping them do? What is this? Whatever this is, it it is specifically. What is this walking away? Is this evading something? Is this evading something? It's helping them keep keep ties with this person, with 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 you or whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. This person has a contract with the goddess of the moon. Didn't I tell you that whoever this whoever this spirit, I said this shit from early on, that this person prayed to some sort of goddess or something that, that, that they fuck with all the time or something like that. They go make offerings to it. It keeps them, it keeps them bind, you binded to them or whatever. I don't. This person, this shit, it helps them get away scot-free from shit, too. This entity helps them get away scot-free with this shit. Whatever it is. Do that. I heard. Find the numbers in your jeans. You talking in your sleep. Fed on letters written by me. Get on your tea. No more sitting at home alone while you're out with somebody else. No more staring at the phone. Cause I could do better all by myself. It's obvious how things have changed within a year. Just give me half of the rent and get out of here. Addictive personality. You're shitting me. Because this person do not want to let you go. This person could be on the drugs, on the drinking. Listen. You keep telling this person to get out. I keep hearing you telling this person to get out, leave you alone, and stand the third. That's the problem. They like, oh, hell no. I ain't going nowhere. Taking your, taking your picture, your hair from your brush, that voodoo doll, tied it up. Uh, sacrificing a fucking spider <laughs> a squirrel or whatever I find in the woods a frog, a fucking turtle a dove a pigeon and giving your ass to whatever uh, uh, de deity um. mm. Illegal activity. Boy, is it someone else you seeking? My body telling me you're creeping. Delusional. Oh, okay. Demonic entity attachment at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's what I said. Finding numbers in your jeans. Whoever this is is a part of a COVID, and I told you, uh, whatever graveyard yeah i said that too i saw it i saw it show me agent yeah <sighs> sexual orientation i you know i i tried to say that earlier but i didn't want to i didn't just want to come out and say it but like i said you know what i mean you know what i mean when i was saying it's like somebody's you know what i'm saying you know what i mean like yeah very sachet chante, okay? Coming from this person. It's like, uh, enough is enough. Anyway, show me what to, um, if this person leaves, what, if the, if, if my, if,
If the person from the collective leave this person, whatever, the collective leave this person. What, um, okay, well, before I even ask the question, temperance in the sun. After some time, balance will be restored and you'll be happy. I mean, come on. Three of pentacles, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Yes, especially with this disappointment in the therapy. Oh, shit. They said, and it's not even funny. Like, and, and I love how they being real about the situation. Like, it's going to take some time and you're going to need some therapy. Like, literally, it's going to take some time and you're going to need some therapy. You're going to also need some spiritual healing with the temperance being here. Energetic healing with the temperance being here. Imagine hunching on somebody who play in all this magic like this. I wouldn't even sit. I wouldn't even want to sit in the same seat or sleep in the same bed or use the same pillow or the or, or the same fucking toilet seat as this person. When I tell you this energy is very disgusting, it's nasty. And there's something here about this, the B-L-O-O-D that this person play in that I don't like. What the? F Can y'all see that? <laughs> y'all saw that, right? In the middle of me talking, they said, pick up, they said, split that deck. Split the deck. I split it. Blood magic. Yeah. 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 In the middle of me saying it. This right here, I don't look. Because you got some people, um, listen, I just recently had to work with a person, right? I just recently had to work with, with, with cleansing and getting a person together after, you know, she was going to somebody who was using B-L-O-O-D um, to, to, to work for her. Like that, using that to work for her. And it's like, listen, I'm not, I don't, listen, you practice what you want, you do what you want. I'm not frowning upon nothing. I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying it, it, uh, um, that come with stuff. That come with stuff. And um, I just had to get her together. I just had to get her together. Not only that, she was saying that the person was doing all that shit and nothing was changing. She was paying for work to be done. Nothing was changing. She wasn't feeling well. The backfire was going to her. I had to literally get this girl together. Took me two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, two, two. All right. But, um... Yeah, that's that's that type of stuff. Like it come with too much. It come with too much, and and you know you know um, a lot of the backfire you know goes on the individual that whatever whatever y'all um I love y'all and I and I really just want the best. For um, my collective, the people that's on the up and up, you know what I'm saying? The people that operate out of love and light, purity, and things of that nature, genuine at heart. Uh, yeah. Okay, so be careful. If this is you, I really, you know, think that you should take heed to spirit's advice, all right? All right, I hope that helps.